We're doing a company move, so I, I was able to take a minute and, and talk uh, about this project. It's just been it's been fantastic shooting out here. I, I love shooting on the desert. It's just it's so incredible out here. The light is amazing. It's beautiful. I always love coming out to the desert. You know, it's a clean horizon. Um, we can really really concentrate on the vehicles and the shape of the vehicles and just really really work. Um, all the way around the vehicle without being distracted or competing with the location. You know, earlier in the week we did some stuff that was really, really crazy. Um, tunnels, three-way overpasses, tree tunnels. Yeah. 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 These type of shots are very nice to retreat to and, and intercut with um, where it's more about the sheet metal, it's more about the shape of the car, it's about the car here, it's not about the location, the location is very nondescript. The lighting, the lighting that we're doing here is very, very complicated. We have a half a mile of Kino flows on each side. We're kind of simulating almost a, you know, an alien uh, spaceship landing pad as the car drives through. There are strobes going off. We, we have a lot of smoke to create some atmosphere. And it also gives the strobe something to grab onto as the car goes through. We have the Hummer that's tracking with the light panels on it, which is a great look because then when you do come out of the smoke, and you see the reflection, you, you get the Kino flow reflecting back into a light source that's traveling at the same speed as the vehicle. And at the same time, not, to make, not like that, that's not complicated enough, we have two projectors that are projecting graphics on the car. And as we come in and out of these shots, you know, sometimes the projectors are backlighting the car, sometimes they're frontlighting the car. So it just gives this extra added sense of dimension that's not created in the CG world. It's you know it's a it's a it's a CG effect being done. It's a digital effect being done as, in an analog way, which is a lot, which is very challenging. At the same time, it's really really fun because things just organically start to happen. magic that you obviously struggle to create but when it happens it's incredible and it's fun and it's, it's made this job very very inspiring you know I'm using all the things all the brushes you know that I paint with every day all at the same time but they're, believe it or not they're all working very seamlessly and effortlessly together working with Hal and Alicia was fantastic they're, they're, they're so creative and, and they're, they were just so phenomenal to uh, collaborate with. We, we kind of have a meeting of the minds two or three times a day where we kind of download to each other what we were planning on achieving for the rest of the day. And it was just, uh, it was seamless. Shooting Cadillac is incredible. I mean, it's just a great brand. It's got a great heritage. The new products are fantastic. They're gorgeous. And I feel like the last 20 years of my career, I've kind of worked for this moment.